Hi you guys and welcome back to my channel. It's Vlogmas Day 4. Okay, so today I'm going to be doing 10 styling tips. Um, I know it's Vlogmas, don't come at me. But as you can see, there's nothing to vlog. But I am making a video, so here you go. So I'm doing 10 styling tips because, well, for one, I'm a fashion major. No, I'm not saying I got the best style in the world. And honestly, I don't even dress my full style because I can't afford it. But I am doing my best to give you guys some styling tips from what I research and like the type of work that I do in school and stuff. I do a lot of stuff with different styles and aesthetics. So yeah, that's the main reason I'm making this video to just help you guys out, especially if you need help finding your aesthetic and finding your style and what you want to do. So let's just get into it. So styling tip number one, I have them right now. <clears throat> <coughs> anyway <sighs> style tip number one you never go wrong with all black you probably heard this one before because all black just always works like any outfit any occasion all black black on black on black on black it doesn't even matter because as long as you put together cute pieces then like i was saying all black is a good outfit choice for any occasion because you can just never go wrong with all black. You can wear a pants, skirt, dress, anything. I feel like that's kind of a given, but that's styling tip number one. Styling tip number two is to wear long socks and not ankle socks. Okay, hear me out, hear me out. I know y'all love ankle socks, but I don't know why. I mean, ankle socks are cool to wear in the house, but they're not really, they're not giving me fashion. You know what I'm saying? So I recommend using socks that are like midway the regular type of socks or longer socks that you could just ruffle up because those in my opinion make you look a little more stylish especially if you're into like streetwear and stuff then and even like some of the girlier ones where they be wearing the air force ones with them socks yeah so socks like that is what i recommend that you wear because so I'm sorry if y'all can hear the background. I'm in the basement and the floorboards are thin as heck. Anyway, yeah, I recommend long socks because I feel like they're a lot more stylish than ankle socks. And you can like switch them up and make them cute sometimes. I can put in some examples of the type of socks I'm talking about. And yeah, so that's what I recommend personally. Style tip number three is to keep your accessories minimal if your outfit is loud. I think that people do a little too much sometimes. Like if you have on like a graphic tee like mine, if you have on a graphic tee and like, I don't know, some crazy pants or something, then you can wear a purse and stuff, but I would keep it simple. Like I would make it a plain purse or like a plain bag. Jewelry is different, but jewelry is different, but bags I recommend to keep more simple because that way it's a little bit more, it's not doing too much. Like sometimes people, when they try to be stylish, they do too much. So I just recommend that you make it look nice and clean. That's all I'm saying. Okay, for tip number four, I recommend if you're trying to get into the streetwear type of style, then you need to get some sweatpants. A lot of y'all be trying to dress streetwear, and I'm not saying that I'm the best at dressing. Let me just throw it out there again, because like I said, I just do what I can with what I got. But I do recommend that you do invest in some sweatpants type of pants and like loose and baggy pants rather than trying to wear skinny jeans because streetwear is not really about fit. It's more so about like looking cool, looking edgy, if that makes sense. So if you do want to dress more streetwear style, then I recommend that you get some sweatpants and some baggy pants. You can find them cheap, you can find them anywhere to be honest. Especially baggy pants, you would probably do your best to go thrifting because thrifting has a lot of cute pants. So that's that. Sound tip number five kind of relates to sound tip number four. I'm just saying don't wear skinny jeans. Just don't. Don't do it. Sorry. Skinny jeans are just not stylish. Like I don't know what to say. They're just so regular they're just so they're just so regular so if you have more of a regular type of simple style then yes yeah, skinny jeans are cool but if you want to say that you're in like a certain aesthetic or like streetwear specifically um no it's a no for me on the skinny jeans i'm sorry they just look kind of awkward i think they make you look kind of weird they're a little bit old school in my opinion and i just don't i would never recommend that you wear skinny jeans sorry not sorry Styling tip number six is that if you're wearing pastel, then you wear white. Pastel colors go with white and not black. I see a lot of times that people who want to dress um, with pastel colors, like let's say you have a pastel pink shirt, you'll wear black pants. 
I would recommend you wear white because I feel like since those are lighter colors, it's kind of giving me like Easter, but since those are lighter colors, then I recommend that you wear white because it'll make the outfit make more sense. It'll look more neat, more clean rather than wearing black because sometimes it can like throw the outfit off. They're going to be like, I don't know if you're trying to dress like this or you're trying to dress like this. You know what I'm saying? So if you wear pastel colors, then I recommend you wear white with this. Number seven is to find the aesthetic that pleases you the most. Now, I'm not saying you just need one aesthetic and that's the one you got to stick to. That's all you can wear. That's the only thing you know how to dress in. No, because I feel like you can have different aesthetics as long as they coordinate with each other. You can have different aesthetics as long as they coordinate with each other. So I feel like you can mix it up, but I would pick one aesthetic to stick to. Like some girls, it's like Y2K, we wear soft girl, like floral type of stuff. Yeah, so I would just pick one and try to base your style for that. Cause that way, one, you'll save more when you try to shop for your style cause you'll know exactly what you're looking for. And two, you'll have a signature style. Like people who know you, they'll know that that's your style. If that makes sense. To number eight is honestly just wear a handbag they're always yes i wear these little shoulder bags you can see some right there i wear those mostly because i feel like they're so i mean they're more so streetwear but that's just me personally um some people wear crossbodies and long bags but i think a bag can always add to your outfit can dress it up can dress it down i just recommend a bag all the way around so yeah Number nine, number nine is a big one because I see a lot of people relying on it and it's just not something to rely on. Because you are a designer does not mean that you have style. I'm, I get it, you wanna like wear a brand and it's cool to wear a brand, like luxury brands, but if you're like head to toe, Chanel jumpsuit, sorry, it's not giving me style. It's just giving me kind of try hard. Like you're just trying to show that you have money. And it's nothing wrong with that if that's what you're going for. But if you're looking for more of a stylish aspect, then I would recommend that you, you could wear designer pieces. Like let's say I'm wearing a regular outfit and I just wear like a Chanel bag. That's cool. Like, you know what I'm saying? But just because you have designer stuff does not mean you're stylish. Sorry, that does not mean that you have more style than anyone else or that you're better than anyone else. So just cut it, sorry. Number 10 is don't be afraid to be original. This is a big one because a lot of people see styles and they're like, oh, I have to wear exactly that, those pieces exactly, I can't wear anything else. And that's not necessarily true. You can wear whatever you want. You can bring stuff back, like you put on a beanie, walk outside, and they're gonna be like, oh wow, like that's some stylish stuff right there. I'm just saying originality. Try to be original with your style and try to, you know, make sure that you're trying to stand out on your own. If style is important to you, then you'll try to do things or wear things that is signature to you and yeah, that'll make you all around a better dresser. So those are my 10 styling tips that I have for the video today. And I hope you enjoyed today's vlogmas. And we'll be back tomorrow with another video. So thank you guys for watching and I'll see you again tomorrow. Bye.